Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to encounter the concept of apparent weight of a submerged object. The apparent weight is what it appears to weigh, not what it actually weighs. And the way to see that is to see as follows, that first of all, we take an object where in this case, the density of the object is greater than the density of the liquid. So when the object is placed in the liquid, it will sink to the bottom. If you want to know the weight of an object, we simply weigh the object on a weight scale and the tension in the string that holds the object will be equal to the weight of the object and therefore we can simply weigh it by measuring the tension on the string. If we now place the object in such a way that it's submerged in a liquid while it's still attached to the string and then we want to measure the tension on the string we then realize that the tension is going to be less than it was before. How much less? less by the amount of the buoyancy force. In other words, we still have the weight of the object pulling down, but now we have a buoyancy force pushing up, and the tension is now going to be the difference between those two forces. The tension equals the weight of the object minus the buoyancy force, and that becomes what we call the apparent weight of the object. While we're taking a look at this, we're also going to calculate the density of the object if it's not known, but we can measure the tension or the weight of the object while it's suspended in air, and then again the weight of the object, the apparent weight, while it's submerged in water. Based upon this, we can then say that the buoyancy force, which is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid, which is equal to the mg of the displaced liquid, because the weight can be written as m times g, and then if we use the equation that the density is equal to the ratio of the mass divided by the volume in such a, such a way that the mass can be written as the product of the density times the volume. So the weight of the displaced liquid can be written as the density of the liquid times the volume of the displaced liquid times g. And that's going to be equal to the buoyancy force. Now we also know that the apparent weight the apparent weight, or better yet, if I solve this for the buoyancy force, if I take this equation right here and solve this equation for the buoyancy force, I can then say that the buoyancy force is equal to the difference between the actual weight of the object minus the apparent weight. So I'll just go weight is the actual minus weight apparent. So the difference between those two, which could be measured, you measure the weight of the object while suspended in air, then you measure the apparent weight of the object while suspended, submerged in liquid. And the difference between those two is going to be equal to the buoyancy force. Well, the buoyancy force is also equal to that, which is equal to the density of the liquid times the volume of the liquid times G. Hmm. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation for the volume of the liquid. I want to try to find out how much liquid was displaced, which means that's also the volume of the object. So I can write the volume of the liquid that was displaced is equal to the difference between these two, the weight as measured in air minus the apparent weight of the object when it's submerged in the liquid divided by the density of the liquid and g, the density of the liquid times g, and that's going to be the volume of the liquid. Now, this can be readily measured, right? We measure the difference here, which is going to be equal to the buoyancy force, so we can write this as the buoyancy force divided by the density of the liquid and times g. And this is going to be equal to the volume of the liquid, which, by the way, is equal to the volume of the object. And then if I go back to what I was trying to do here, find the density of the object, and knowing that the density can be written as the mass divided by the volume, I can then say that the density of the object is equal to the mass of the object divided by the volume of the displaced liquid, which of course is equal to the volume of the object. And I can find the volume of the object by simply taking the difference of the two measurements the weight of the object in the air minus the weight of the object when it's submerged, which is the buoyancy force, divided by the density of the liquid, times g. 
And so this can then be written that this is the mass of the object divided by the volume of the liquid, which is going to be equal to the buoyancy force divided by the density of the liquid times g. And that will give us the density of the object. Simply take the mass of the object and divide it by the ratio of the buoyancy force and the density of the liquid times g. And that's how we find the density of the object using the concept of the apparent weight. And after all, the difference between the real weight and the apparent weight is the buoyancy force on an object that's submerged in the liquid. And that's how it's done.